Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jackson Genius. In this video, we will be using rounding to estimate our answers when working with addition. Okay, so here we have been asked to round the following numbers to the nearest 10. And we can see here that we will be making use of addition. Okay, so it's 5,764 plus 3,845. Okay, so when you're presented with this kind of example, the first step would be to write the numbers below each other in the same way that we did in the addition and subtraction series because we have to apply addition. Okay, so 5,764, okay, and then 3,845. Okay, okay, we will then round each of these numbers to the nearest 10 as we were told here. And we will be using our steps for rounding. Okay, so let's start with the first number, with the 5,764. Okay, so our first step is to circle the place value that we are rounding to. Okay, and since we are rounding, we will be using our approximately equal to sign. Okay, the second step will be to round. Okay, so we need to circle the place value we are rounding to. We are rounding to the nearest 10. The 6 is in the 10 place value. Okay, next we need to look at the digit to the right of the rounding digit. Okay, that means we're looking at the 4. Okay, and we have underlined it. Okay, if the number that we underlined is less than five, and as we can see, a four is less than five, leave the rounding digit the same. So we leave the circle digit the same. So we have the six over here. Okay. Next, if the number you underlined is equal to or greater than 5. And now we know, we already saw that 4 is less than 5. So step 4 doesn't count. Or we won't be applying it. Okay? So in step 5, all the numbers to the left of the rounding digit or in the higher place values stay the same. So these numbers, the 5 and the 7, stay the same because they are to the left of the rounding digit to the left of the six. Okay, so five and seven. And then the numbers to the right of the rounding digit become zero. Okay. Okay, good. And we can therefore see that 5,764 is approximately equal to 5,760 when down to the nearest 10. Okay? Excuse me, there we go. Okay, next number. We're looking at 3,845 and we need to round to the nearest 10. Okay, once again, we start at step one. We circle the place value we are rounding to and we are rounding to the nearest 10. So we circle the four. Okay, and that will be the four is our rounding digit. Okay, next, we look at the digit to the right of the rounding digit. So we're looking at the five. Okay, and we underlined it. Step three, if the number that we underlined is less than five, we leave the rounding digit the same. Okay, now we know the number is actually equal to five. It's not less than five. So we don't apply step three. Step four. If the number that we underlined is equal to or greater than 5, 
we round the circled digit up by one. Okay, so five is equal to five. And for that reason, we need to round the four, our circle digit, up by one. So we rounded that up by one. Okay, step five. All the numbers to the left of the rounding digit or in the higher place values stay the same. So the three and the eight stay the same. And then step six, all the numbers to the right of the rounding digits or in the lower place values become zero. So there is a zero here. Yeah. Okay, therefore, 3,845 is approximately equal to 3,850 when rounding to the nearest 10. Now we are not done just yet. We need to apply addition to these rounded numbers. Okay, so 5,760 plus 3,850 is equal to... Okay, now we need to add. Okay, so 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 5 is 11. We include the one at the bottom, carry over the 1. 7 plus 8 is 15, plus the 1 is 16. Include the 6 at the bottom, carry over the 1. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Okay, therefore, 5,764 plus 3,845 is approximately equal to 9,610 after rounding to the nearest 10. As you can see in this slide, we will be comparing the estimate that we calculated in example one on the previous slide to the exact answer using the numbers that we were originally given. Understand that, that you can use this method when you are practicing examples to check if your estimate makes sense. You can also use the estimate method or rounding to check if your exact answer or your exact calculation makes sense. Okay, let's add the numbers up in the exact section okay so 5764 plus 3845 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 include the 0 at the bottom carry over the 1 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. Include the 6 at the bottom, carry over the 1. 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, therefore, 5764 plus 3845 is equal to 9609. Okay, here we use the method of addition that we became familiar with or got an understanding of in the addition and subtraction series. And I will leave a link to that series in the description below. Okay, so as we can see here, the estimate of 9610 is very close to our exact answer of 9609. So we know that our estimate that we calculated in the previous example makes sense. For this example, we will follow the same steps as we did for the previous example. Okay, first, we will write the numbers below each other. Once again, in the way that we did in the addition and subtraction series, since we are adding the numbers. Okay, so 2,577 and 8,246. Okay, step two is to round the numbers using the steps that we've been following for rounding. Okay, so since we are rounding, I will include the approximately equal to sign. 
we are going to be working through step two. Okay, let's first round 2,577. Okay, circle the place value that we are rounding to. We are rounding to the thousand place value. And the thousand place value number is two. So we will circle the two. Okay, next, look at the digit to the right of the rounding digit and underline it. Okay, so to the right of the rounding digit is this five here. So we underline. Next, if the number that you underlined is less than five, here we can see the number is actually five. So we can move on to step four. If the number you underlined is equal to or greater than five, and since this is 5, it is equal to 5. So we would need to round the circle digit up by 1. So we're rounding our circle digit or our rounding digit up by 1, which means we are increasing the 2 to a 3. We are rounding up. Okay? Step 5. All the numbers to the left of the rounding digit stay the same. There are no numbers to the right, to the, excuse me, to the left of the rounding digit. There are no numbers to the left of the rounding digit, so that step doesn't really apply here. Okay, all the numbers to the right of the rounding digit, when the lower place values become zeros. Okay, there are three numbers to the right of the rounding digit. There are three numbers in the lower place value, section so therefore we need to include three zeros okay this means that 2577 is approximately equal to 3000 when we round to the nearest thousand okay next for rounding 8246 we start by circling the place value that we are rounding to. As we saw before, we are rounding to the nearest thousand. We circle the eight. Okay, next step. Look at the digit to the right of the rounding digit and underline it. So we are underlining the two here. Okay. If the number that you underlined is less than five, we know that two is less than five. Okay. Leave the rounding digit the same. So, we leave the rounding digit the same. Okay. If the number you underlined is equal to or greater than 5, so we already saw that the number we underlined was actually less than 5, so we will not be using step 4. Okay. Step 5. All the numbers to the left of the rounding digit, or in the higher place value, say the same once again, there are no numbers to the left of the rounding digit, so we won't be using step 5 either. All the numbers to the right of the rounding digit or in the lower place value sections become 0. Okay, so all three of these numbers will become zeros because they are all in the lower place value sections to the right of our rounding digit. Okay, to the right of the circle number. Okay, our final step is to add the numbers that we just rounded, okay, since we were asked to add the two numbers together. So, 3,000 plus 8,000, okay, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 3 plus 8 is 11. There are no further numbers to add, so we don't need to carry over the 1. We just include both below the line. Therefore, 2,577 plus 8,246 is approximately equal to 11,000 when we round to the nearest thousand. 
Once again, we will be comparing the estimate that we calculated in the previous slide to the exact answer to check whether our estimate makes sense. Okay, let's add up the numbers in the exact section. So 2,577 plus 8,246. 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. Include the 3, carry over the 1. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Carry over the 1. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. And 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Therefore, 2,000 Five hundred and seventy seven plus eight thousand two hundred forty six is equal to ten thousand eight hundred and twenty three. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Okay, once again, here we can see that our estimate of 11,000 is quite close to our exact answer of 10,823. We can tell that, of course, 11,000 is more than the exact answer, and that is because we rounded 2,577 up to 3,000, while we kept the 8,246 at 8,000. So because of that big rounding difference, we have an estimate that is a little bit larger than our exact answer, but they're close enough for us to know that our estimate makes sense. Okay, in this lesson, we learned the following. We learned that when we are provided or when we are given an, a rounding example where we need to apply addition, we first need to write the numbers below each other in the way that we do when we are adding large numbers, okay? Next, we round each of the numbers as required in the instructions by using our steps for rounding, okay? We then add the rounded numbers together since we had been asked to apply addition, okay? We also compared the estimate that we were required to calculate to the exact answer, and we used this method to check that our estimate makes sense. Okay, finally, remember to read the question, okay? Make sure that you answer everything. So don't just round the numbers. If there is an operation, if there is addition, included in the rounding example, make sure that you do apply addition. Okay, so make sure to always read the question and when you are finished, check that you have answered the question. Well, we have come to the end of this video. Hit the subscribe button for easy access to videos like this, where we work through mathematics together every week. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions relating to what was covered in this video. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!